Hey guys, what's up? I wanted to come on here and do a quick review of a Louis Vuitton belt um, that I said I was going to do a review on. Um, now, just as a side note, right now this is the only belt that I have. All the other belts that I had was, was just like two other belts. Um, my daughter pretty much took with her to college. Um, and even though this is an expensive item, um, I'm pretty much what most people would call a minimalist. I probably have less than a hundred items in this entire closet. Uh, I bought this belt because I didn't have another belt. And, um, but I'm of the opinion that I'd rather have higher quality things than a bunch of things. Um, so for me, it's quality over quantity. Now, another side note, just because something costs a lot of money does not make it higher quality. So I always do my research before I buy something because actually my favorite belt was a fossil belt that I think was the highest of quality. I had that belt for at least six or seven years and now my daughter wears that belt all the time. So, okay, let me get into the review. The review is, um, okay, a Louis Vuitton, like you'll see in the description box, um, essential v belt i think is the name but when i look at the receipt we'll know for sure this is the package this is the um bag that the box came in uh i got it from the miami design district a while back um i'm not even sure if they carry this belt anymore i mean i've never seen a review on youtube of this belt or anywhere else so i don't even think a lot of people have this belt this is the box that the belt came in let me show you all the receipt this is the receipt that I was given the name of the belt is the CE dot Ascent, but I know that's essential V belt 30 which I guess is the size um, and I got it in a 90 which is a little bit too big for me I wear a 26 I should have gotten it in an 85 but I didn't get an 85 because normally um, my daughter, she wears an 85. So I figured I needed a bigger size. I, I just got a 90, but it's a little bit too big. Um, so just let me just cover up my information. Let me bend that back and cover up my payment. And then you can see there that that's all the information on this belt. And it was 600 $79.45 to be exact. And like I said before, I don't buy a lot of things at all. Um, and when I do purchase things, I like them to be um, high quality, but just because it costs a lot doesn't make it high quality. But I feel like um, the leather on this belt is of high quality. Okay. This is the bag that the belt came in. I just took it out of the this bag and, and you all have to forgive me because like I'm really not used to this um, I'm doing a review just straight on my iPad but um, if you all want me to do another review on higher quality my daughter has a Canon that my mom bought her um, I have a Sony that's brand new but I just don't know how to work it but as soon as I learn how to work it I'll do another review if you want to see the belt in better detail but anyway, this is the belt here. It is just a 90 millimeter belt. I think that's what it is, 90 milli, 90, I don't know, 90, but this is what the size of the belt, a 90. Okay, inside of the belt, it says uh, Louis Vuitton. Uh, when you look at the belt in close detail, this is the side that you put in first. When you put in the belt on, has the LV there, and then you would put it on going uh, from the left side around to from the right side around to the left, and then it slides in like this, and you would close it like that. Okay. All right. Other details. Um, this is the V here when you look up close 
it has an LV I don't know if it's gonna focus enough for you to see it and then also when you flip it here it says Louis Vuitton and I don't know if you it's gonna focus enough for you to see it either but yeah um, and then if you're looking at it from the back that's how it looks and yeah so that is the belt like I said when um and I don't know what this is right here but this is another little code that just says something like BC 4134 which I have no idea what that means but um and maybe that's a date code or stand, I don't know uh, oh the piping on it is red I don't think this is Vaqueta because it's already comes in that patina color like it's already like a like a patina type color and the stitching is a yellow stitch so um, my hair is wet it's dripping like crazy it's a little wet uh, so yeah if you have any other questions about the belt or want to know anything else about the belt like I said um, I'll do another review with a better camera um, but uh, yeah I haven't seen this belt at all on YouTube and so I think I saw one video but on the monogram version um, so yeah I will definitely do another review with a better camera if somebody requests it and have a good day all right hope you enjoy bye